wonderful. Sweet. Do I need Do I need these headphones on at any point? Not yes. necessarily. Okay. Oh, you're gonna be doing the. Just while you're. You're gonna in be here. doing the switching. While you're in here. There's well, no you're switching. Not switching. He's just gonna play the clip. Like, well, because you're you're, oh, you're yeah, in that it's seat. Not live. Yeah. It's, oh, okay. It's an ISO recorded. Exactly. Yeah. Using that ISO recording. Doing a pre-recorded thing. All We're right. Pre-record it. F it. How do you sit back? It's like you can't see nobody back here. You're like a freaking. Yeah, you have to like. I have to like. I pretend. Go in between to catch his eye. Oh well, shoot! I gotta be. Hey, look at the screen. Yeah, I'm gonna look at this. Yeah, I have to look he's the worst one to be back there. I, I, <laughs> it's all dark. Open you your could, eyes. You smile. can lower those monitors. <laughs> you all ready? Yeah. Oh. Welcome to Pacha TV. <laughs> Welcome to Pacha TV with your hosts. Welcome to Pacha TV. I am no. Pachi <laughs> with your host, Pachi, from jessaleepeterson.com show. Oh, <laughs> Joel F. Ryden, see the host of the... What am I saying about you? <laughs> the American Anchor Baby. The host of the American Anchor Baby show. James Hake, a host of the Hake Report. Doc. <laughs> Welcome to Punch and TV. <laughs> Punchy. Really quick before we get started, we have Bill, the Bond engineer in studio, <laughs> to talk with us about some oh. interesting stuff going on. <laughs> It's just stuff going on right now. Is it flat around in the news? Ball Earth, Ball Earth uh -oh. Bill. That's right. the name of the show. Ball Earth Bill. <laughs> you down? We need a spot filled. Bill the ball network. Ball Earth. Ball Earth Bill. Ball Earth Bill. You'll be instant hit, and you'll and you'll get ahead of Doug's show and steal his thunder. Oh, indeed. He's doing a. <laughs> it's a race. You do a flat Earth show, it's over. Mm. Best show on the network. Well, why we have Bill in here? Anti flatter show, I mean. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. Why we have Bill in here? <laughs> I wanted to ask the reason why we have Bill in here, audience, is that I wanted to talk to Bill about this new, these new robots that are that are coming to a city near you potentially, right? And we all know who the king of the future is, Mr. Elon Musk. Right. Well, Vince we'll McMahon. see. Bill says we'll see. Bill but Elon Musk. See. Hey, we don't know. We're, we're sitting. We're we're sitting here thinking uh, everything's going to work out and uh, Trump is going to be elected president. But well, we don't know. We what might get. Know? We might get uh, uh, Kamala, and Kamala will will try to do Sh things to to basically shut stop down. Musk. Yeah, shut down Musk. You know, it'll all be about. It'll all be about Kamala. And her folks. Well, what I'm making them look good. Well, after what the, I'm about the to heck with in. the whole the whole human race. So <laughs> McAfee Trump. I well, mean, so McAfee oh, Elon. Elon. But what I, after I'm about to show you, you guys might want him to be McAfeed. <laughs> so we're, oh. we're about to find out. Well, this stuff is coming along either way. But cool. play player. Okay. So let me introduce it first. So first. This is uh, from Instagram, from um, the Wealth Channel on Instagram. At the Tesla event, CEO Elon Musk revealed the company's newest self-driving models, including the Cybercab and RoboVan, alongside the interactive Optimus robot. The pre presentation drew criticism from Alex Proyas, director of iRobot, who took the social media to claim that Tesla had appropriated his film's design concepts for their latest innovation so ooh, you see the robots they, they kind of look a little similar which which one is which the one on the left is elon's and the one on the right is from the movie they look totally different what's he talking about I don't yeah. know. <laughs> they both look, look humanoid everyone's, look the, everyone's looking everybody's for everybody's robots gonna look everyone's looking for a payday everyone's everybody's robots gonna look similar first. actually <laughs> yeah sorry yeah guess what humanoid humanoid robots are all gonna look Similar, so, but look at the cyber cam doesn't look like it. Tell me the cyber cam doesn't look like it. Man, this is this is what that's an Audi. Wait, on which the is this? <laughs> this is 2077, the Delamain. It's the whole thing. It's, the, it's here. He's okay, doing, what about the Robo Van? 
Look, wait, 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 wait. Oh, which, that's which one is which? So the, the one on, the top, one on is, top is, is the, the new robo van from okay. Elon. From, the one on the bottom is from the movie yeah. Arobot. Nice. The, the one from Elon looks totally different. All right. Whatever. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I think it's got a little bit of that. I mean, honestly, that one had more of that little bit of that Art Deco kind of look to it. Yeah. See, that old. It gives me that. Uh, it gives me like the bottom one gives me. Uh, we're about to deploy shock troop citizens, <laughs> and the top one gives me uh, 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 a good future. Vibe. It's like <laughs> yeah. they're about as different as the different renditions of the Batmobile. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past Elon. He does like referencing sci-fi and stuff like that. Yeah, well, what about it's just, well, a, it's just what about a reference. This? He's not stealing. Okay, He's stealing like an artist. What about that? Come on. Okay, now you're fearing. Ah, <laughs> Elon's not like a great artist. <laughs> but he he can just recognize good art, so yeah, he's looking he at somebody else's stuff, stuff. Definitely references. That's a big reference right there. Look at that. Oh, because they have an army. They got them? the same chest. No, they're just <laughs> walking out there. I don't think so. Okay, yeah. look. Well, here's a side by side of both. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so at the top is the robots, identical twins to me. Then the middle is the 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 the, the bus. Look at that. Same I'm design. Not, but you know, what did he tweet? Joel takes this side of Hollywood. Of Hollywood, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, so wait, he tweeted something that he says, "Hey Elon, can I have my designs back, please?" Yeah. No, you made him. He built them. He's building them. You should be thankful. You should be like, wow, Elon stole his the, designs. What I imagined in a movie is actually happening by a smart man. Like he should be like, I never seen amazing. I'm a, I robot. Me neither. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's with Will Smith. Oh, okay, no it's one writing that movie. Oh, it's, well, it was it was before like Will Smith and his uh, his his escapades and before he fell off. Right before he fell off in his right. in his key in yeah, his peak Fresh Prince days. It's one of those dystopian uh, future movies where robots are taken over or incredible movie. You know, I find it basically to be, the same kind of stuff that we're. I find it to have truth in it. I well, believe in the iRobot movie. And it's I believe that these these designs are being stolen from <laughs> this uh, this man. What's but, the man's name again? Oh man! Oh I sorry, I forget. Alex Payne or something? Alex Poyas. Alex Poyas or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you guys don't think there's any type of resemblance in these those designs at all? There might be. Yeah, there's some resemblance for sure. Okay. You yeah, could say easily there's some resemblance. I'm not. The thing is, I'm not. I'm not sure the resemblance is just. Is not just coming from, like, like a humanoid robot. You know, when you're waiting things and you're trying to make it all move around like a like like a human, and then you're trying to brand it with uh, with um, uh, Tesla's own branding. You know, I, I think this this could be just that, especially the robot one. Maybe I robot stole. Uh, Elon Musk's early prototypes. We had no proof. <laughs> we had no proof of that. Nice. But I do have a clip. 20 I, years earlier. <laughs> 2004. He found the books. Alex Proyas, director of iRobot, found the book, Elon's hidden books. <laughs> yeah. And uh, took mm. the designs. But I do have a clip I want to play because my concern is not the designs. This Alex Proyas guy, director of iRobot, his concern is the, the copying the designs. My concern is if Elon's copying the technology. But that movie has a is a good ending, right? Well, we'll I'm no. gonna show you a clip. Is it, it doesn't end happy. Huh? Well, the movie's like a happy, right? It's like no, no. I mean, <laughs> don't I mean, tell yeah, it, I mean, It's like a movie I mean, about a good relationship with robots and AI, right? That's right, all I get. Right, oh, no? but that's it's oh, more he like it, he made the or is it a bad relationship with AI. He made the no, movie. it's it's kind of something kind of in between. He actually, directed the uh, movie that killed <laughs> Bruce Lee's son. The Crow. Who's that? Alex Pro Alexander Proyas. But what's the movie? The Crow. Oh, I no, I've never heard of it. Well, he's never heard of you. <laughs> <laughs> classic, <laughs> classic male thirst trap Brandon Halloween costume. Lee. Brandon Lee got no, killed Brandon. by a, a live. <laughs> Take it as Glib or now. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> you should be you should go as the crow for Halloween. With the uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we we started up with someone um, in a robot suit. Uh, sort of that, and then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really going to have something spectacular. 
something that anyone could own. Fundamentally, at scale, the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long time. is that bad oh hell no this is my robot <laughs> so, ha! <laughs> That'll never happen, right? Yes, that's my concern. <laughs> That'll never okay. happen, right? That they're going to send their troops after us? <laughs> that that those, these robots well, are going to have no, 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 In the movie, it's, it's the robot, basically. The AGI, the advanced robot, decides um, to take over. That's what I'm saying. And so, exterminate black people. <laughs> no, no. Oh. That's the first just hit. Will, just That's will the first Smith. hit. <laughs> Exterminate black people. <laughs> That's, That's the not the plot of the movie. Okay. No, you no, we should too make hard movies. That one. You should be in movies, man. <laughs> we should do stuff like that. I want to see you in movies. You know, it was okay, but it, to be honest, <laughs> I'm not even. I, I'm not even. I don't even like this, and I'm not even joking. I'm being serious now. You're is not that, gonna have an optimist. I'm not. Right? I'm not. That's the concerning to me. Like to have these robots that do these kind of things, because for one, can't people hack the system? I don't like computerized yeah. things. People can hack the system for one, especially a cyber cab that has no steering wheel, no manual drive. It's all computerized. Somebody can hack the system and do what they want. Not only that, the government can hack the system <laughs> and do whatever they want. And what if you have a robot that's it's overfunctioned? And the technology is too advanced, and then it turns into one of those iRobots and start killing people. Better, I, I better not say anything racist, and then you'll be fine. <laughs> if you're not doing anything wrong, then what's the big deal? Oh, start man. training. Nick, so you're not you black. Can, uh, I am. Okay. The robots. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it's 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 true. I mean, if That's these it. robots, if somebody you know, once technology gets up to a certain certain degree, man, they can just go and tell the car to instead of avoid people run over people exactly <laughs> yeah or Evil or tell the robot rot to do bunch something bunch of luddites like that. in this room afraid <laughs> of progress afraid well <laughs> what i mean it's, it gets hey, hey, it's it's just but what if but what if going... they take the gun to the school <laughs> <laughs> what if they bring guns to well, school this is why we this, got animal. this is why uh, this is why they want to you know uh this is why I've uh, Elon, for instance, wants to regulate this stuff to some degree. See, now that's a thing. What that even mean? That's not someone afraid then, of the future. But then, hey, that's someone you who still wants have to the same kind of problems that you're, that, that right. Joel's talking about. <laughs> if yeah, you right. have a, if you have the <laughs> government involved, yeah, how do you who's regulate the regulators? Right? Yeah. Who's regulating yeah. the regulators exactly? <laughs> <laughs> that's my only concern. Not, is that. But is there but, really any but, stop? But though? hey, can you can you all imagine? The path is either regulated and figure it out. Or la 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 la. I I won't believe. I'm not gonna believe it. It's it's not happening. Uh, AI is not around. I'm going uh, off yeah, the grid. AOL. <laughs> yeah, AI is. You know, he's right Autonomy. around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Like and you gotta get your you gotta get your own robot who'll who'll water the lawn and uh, fold your clothes and wash your wash your dishes and and stuff like that. We've but, already taken. Uh, sorry, but but then you know I can see it. These robots taking over factory jobs and uh, and most people, I what do you got to do with your extra time? They'll probably waste your time on social media and other useless stuff. That's my like concern. they do already. See, now, they just have my, more time to waste. Too. That's well, wait, maybe they'll want to. Hey, maybe the big Googles and stuff. They'll want to actually give us robots so so that they can uh, so that we can waste more time on social media. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's my concern. The idea is like. A per, an amazing society where you do all these mundane things are automated. Now you can be even more productive and 
and and, and right. your society can go to person. ever higher heights. But that's if everybody if everybody does that, right? If, <laughs> it, yeah, if you're if you if you're if you're a productive person, but if you're not a productive person, I, <laughs> it's gonna be right. You're just gonna be. It's just gonna be. It's just gonna make make it worse. Hacky. Make your bad worse. Oh, I could play video games all day. So at, at, so maybe the best. video game makers will will actually uh, help you bring down the price of the robots so you can spend more time playing video games. Right. But, <laughs> but, but how far does it go though? Like, are we gonna have a <laughs> robot wife? Robot uh, uh, probably. We went too to far can... thousands of years ago. True. Humanity I think the guys, has taken the, I the think step. the guys will be. Be good with the. We'll be more right. cool with the with the robot wives and the uh, and the women will be more um, have more an issue with them. Yeah, the women uh, they'll like them and then they'll the hate robot, them. The women will be mad. The robot can't cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> you should never have invented oh, the printing press. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Where did that come from? <laughs> uh, the progress is. Gone too far. Yeah. Now we're we're here where where it's like as far as the robot stuff, it's like you can be one person and like do more than ever, probably something yeah. like that. You can do have your own factory probably or something, you know, building parts where you'd have to have twenty or thirty people. But you don't want that. I'm just telling you. <laughs> All right, you it's could like, do that, but but now. Now you got robots, yeah, and and you as one person, you could maybe do something like that, where before that was just totally impossible, you know. So that's why this is amazing. What, what, <laughs> what's the what's the effect of this? You know, what's the 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 effect of this? So what if you don't have anything you really want to do? Are you just useless? Well, the, thing, the thing about productive people, there's only a few of those, and if you make them even better, then. I mean, the rest of the world is. You only there's only really a few they're gonna really be making, a, like hyper productive people in the whole world. Right, so, right. Um, so I, the rest of us are just plebs and plebs. deltas. Plebs, and but we're deltas. all gonna have an optimus. Yeah, don't, we're all don't have start an optimus. Like, what? I'm not gonna have one. <laughs> it's gonna be like it's gonna. You're be gonna like want to watch. You're gonna you're, you're gonna, gonna want to spend one. the extra time the washing your clothes. And, yeah, I'll and have washing clothes. I'll be the only one holding them. The original traditional vacuuming the floor. Doesn't Joel have a fancy watch? Uh, yeah, you love the he have Apple, Apple comes out with an Optimus. You're getting it tomorrow. I'm not doing it. Oh, do it. You're, man. Get, you're getting the Apple watch. And you're Elon's going to make it because, cheap. Apple has them expensive. So you're oh. telling me, so you guys are telling me that uh, a robot person or a thing can make a better meal than an average person. They will. Yeah. But it won't taste the same because it's not made the from person human now hands. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean. You know, it takes time to learn that, and you know the the robot's just gonna do the exact same thing over and over and over again. And you no, know that secret AI ingredient will learn love to make it with variety. And that secret ingredient love that you put in dishes, exactly. yeah, the, yeah, the AI will have that too. Well, yeah. the <laughs> love, you know what the love will be? The love will be when you when you tell the AI to put a little extra of this in it next time, and the AI does. You know, and, and then it's perfect. And then you just tell them to save it like that. And then oh. years la- years down the line, you haven't made this stuff, and you just tell them to make it like that, and the and the robot just does it perfect. And then we don't need immigrants oh, no. with their tacos. <laughs> Yo, it's not gonna <laughs> be nice. the same. It's, it's like you're not gonna say send them back. <laughs> There's nothing it's like, like an immigrant it's like, taco. It's like, but but you're talking about this 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 uh, this this society of plenty, okay? But I, I mean, so you know, the farm doesn't need doesn't need uh, people to pick the crops, and just has the machines out there pick everything, you know. And so things will be cheaper, and True. the parts can be made cheaper for your car. Parts they can make a car cheaper. They can dig up the ore for the car to to make the parts cheaper. Everything's just cheaper, and you can make bigger. It's like it's, it's amazing, like, right? So it's, it's like it's just totally amazing. I don't know. So it's like you know, maybe you could just have it to where, you know, you could like build a house like super cheap or something like that. Or but what about maybe like, planes could be much bigger. Hard it's, days work. What about labor, manual labor? All these things that make a man just a strong, tough man. 
What are we going to do now? We're not AI gonna here on AI TV. is going to put us in prison and just work. Just to watch us work and take pleasure in watching us work. Right, why, You're why, still going to well, work, dude. Well, yeah, we'll just be grinding our gears. You'll I think be, our problem is... What, the, future, the future Excelsior class, the super hyper-rich, they'll, they'll still be the working class. We'll like. just be at the gym all day. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we'll be too lazy to go to the gym. Oh, everything, man. You don't have to do anything. They're working. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. At, out, of the, out of all of those, what, if you had to choose one... And Elon was like, listen, we can only do one because all of these are just insane. So we can only choose one. Which one would you guys choose? Autonomous Which one of labor? No, I mean, like, out of all the... The van. The, the robo van, the, the cyber taxi, or the, the stupid robot? Autonomous the, labor. I want the, the robots. Van. Oh, the robot. The van. I want to they're take the most my... Life, the, sorry. I want to take my buddies to the beach in the van. <laughs> I'd probably go with the van, too. Yeah. Autonomous labor would be... Paradigm changing. It would be the person. Everybody would be fat. It would though, be Nick. absolutely. So he's using the robot person. Everybody would be on the couch, fat, Nick, because they don't have to do no work. Because the robot has to do it all. It won't even be the same world. The right. robot. Exactly. Exactly. We don't even know. Exactly. You don't even know what kind of work would exist in that. You don't even <laughs> right. know. Actually, that's a, that's what that's the thing is. I don't know what this world would be like. Yeah, it's a. And we a also total... they're probably you know they're working on these advanced um, was it AGI's advanced. Uh, robots who are basically at some point going to be smarter than we are and they'll not like know everything about everybody see I think and, and hopefully they too. don't they and hopefully they're not like uh they're not like lying and manipulating and and hopefully. stuff like that on top of it well we know they're liberal and try we know- well if they're the problem is that that's slim. the thing too if if they're liberal they're going to be like you know they're gonna be like, I mean, self-centered to the hilt. Yeah. So What's imagine it? a uh, just not a person that's self-centered to the hilt, but a, a freaking uh, artificial intelligence <laughs> that's what I'm that saying. does everything to. But I mean, we we do a lot of things for uh, human beings. Do a lot of things to to up their. Well, it's all about their self-image. So imagine if if we if they program that into. A robot who's all about their own self-image, about that kind of thing. If well, they that's put like that the in movie. there. Well, the movie was yeah, similar it's... to that. Though the movie was that's this, and that's also what I was thinking too. Is that in the movie iRobot, they in the coding they made it follow these type of rules that they put in the coding. So if you put it in the coding, obviously it's not going to have like a logical. There's no logical mind to know what what you can and can't do. But in the coding in the movie, if it violated, um, if a person violated any of those rules that the, the robot had, the robot had the right, according to the coding, to react. So they could just easily do that now. Can't they just make these rules that if, if a person disobeys them, they can overreact to it? But who knows how far that's going to go? Look at uh, the yeah, but that, yeah, but that. That was. Look at is the that camera. Asimov's laws? Huh? Is that Asimov's laws or something like that? I don't know. The but, laws. But the, what? The laws but, of AI. The. What the can go, no, wrong, what? go wrong? No, some guy, some sci-fi guy, thought up of the first laws for AI. Should it ever come about or whatever? And it should have like the most. I'm sure you've heard of them. It, yeah, never I've heard harm of them. a person. Always listen. Something like that. Uh, right, but but, yeah. but so it's the people in the movie but, that was the mess. But he's okay. he's right sure. about. You know, robots misunderstanding something mm-hmm. that said, you know, Hell 9, and they're trying to write Hell 9000, exactly, yep. you know, uh, it's a 2001, uh, Space Odyssey. Yeah, 2001 the Space AI Odyssey. It has laws, but right. He, he told, they, I forgot the well, robot. Add was, a little space radiation, add a little cosmic radiation. I didn't take I think, any Is space that what radiation. happens? No, never I th- mind. No, it was something about it was given the rule not to tell these people about what was there, right. the people on board. So it didn't know how to. The only yeah. way to to not tell them was to kill them, something like that. So oh, misinterpreted them. <laughs> yeah, to eliminate them, so they got eliminated. Right, right, right. <laughs> so that's 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 the problem with uh, with so- giving 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 the robots, uh, uh, you know, know directives. So all the exactly. problems that with could tech, be misunderstood, you know, huh? So all the problems with tech is always goes back to like human nature, really. It's always just human nature, like what could go wrong? 
is how human nature could be hacked. Right. Or so far in this whole conversation, right? It's not. It's not the tech. It's. It's not like oh, did we go too far? Humanity's been going too far. It's been thousands of years of going too far. Mm. Um, we use everything for evil. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That is. That is and the true. and the movie was a little inaccurate too because he he asked for, he manually overrides his automatically driving car. Yeah. I don't think once we have once every car is automatically driving, you can't have manual cars. It's like you have to choose one or the other. So if we like, decide no, to go down the automatic like, driving where, road, what is, we have to give up driving ourselves. Because you have a manual car in an automated world, that's an error. That's a uh, a variable that it can't fit. You know what I mean? Needs to be eliminated. It needs to be. It must be. Nigga's eliminated. all in right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you what has I, to be. Uh, I think they could both exist for a it while. It might be a little hybrid thing going right. on. Right. I mean, uh, but I think I think the first thing that'll happen is stuff like it'll be like uh, on the freeway. There'll be, there'll be AI run cars only on the freeway, something like that, because and it would be like that because an AI, you know, a, a, a car run by a robot can get closer to the car in front of it. It can be still going sixty miles an hour or whatever with what one car length, and when you hit hits the brakes. You know, all the other cars break. <laughs> it will break. Yeah, it will automatically break too. You know, whereas you'll take uh, a fraction of a second to hit the brake. Stuff like that. Too long. That'll make a difference. You know, just to let's say fit more cars on the road, <laughs> going nice. going faster. So stuff like that'll be, you know, the first thing that'll fall out. I think. And be the AI drive, only thing for will be the freeway. You still get huh? to drive to the grocery store. Right. Yeah, you still could drive to a grocery but store. But there's a there's a whole bunch of traffic in those areas too. We'll see. We'll see what faction wins. Those who want to drive a little bit, or those who are gonna make the grovel class of the of the planet <laughs> take away their driving. Take away their driving. <laughs> are we at uh, least gonna get flying cars before we all die? We're not getting uh, robots maybe. before we do. We're not getting like I don't think so. But uh, yeah. Well, they kind of have the f- they kind of have flying car kind of things. Those robots, they're like oversized drones. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> oh yeah. This is all <laughs> is like Tower of Babel stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't like. Uh-uh. Where we all come together and get more and more power, and mm-hmm. then, but we're also more divided. Uber Eats and, and Uber Now, right? Of course, it's necessary, like, occasionally to do it, like, for the convenience of something specific, right? You're super busy, you're caught up at work, da da da. But that's not what human nature uses these things for on a regular basis. Human nature says, I'm using this because I don't feel like going to the store. I'm using this because um, uh, I'm too tired to get up. I don't want to get out of my pajamas, even though it's, it's, 12 o'clock during the day on a weekday like human nature takes advantage of this stuff so i think it encourages people to be more lazy and like somebody said of course there's the the low percentage of people who are going to be productive with this stuff but most people are gonna get lazy and die off and then the robots take over the world they already are they're already dead what's wrong with that (laughs) <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I mean, we should like live like cavemen. Then we should go back, destroy. Let's destroy all the machines. Whoa. Smash them up for God. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what he wow. wants us to do. Well, maybe like about, maybe like a little bit, maybe like just a little. <laughs> like slowly, to pump the brakes a little bit. I'm cool with pumping the brakes. Let me see. Okay, so moving on then. Uh, it's been known. That uh, the blacks, well, Nick, Nick, Nick has been alluding to this. What? No, nah, not really. <laughs> it's been known that the blacks. When I said exterminate the blacks. I didn't. It's not like I. That, <laughs> the joke was not I wanted that to happen. I was just like, we saw Will Smith getting killed by robots. Oh, is that the plot? But obviously not. No. <laughs> it's been known that the blacks mostly vote Democrat. So everybody knows this, right? The blacks mostly vote Democrat, and um, it's been like that for a long time, but. Lately, as they look at the numbers and they look at like these little clips that show, you know, the support blacks have for Trump, it's in like, you know, outstanding numbers. And because of it, um, 
it seems as if there's like a little shift happening in the black community. Now, I'm not saying how big the shift is, and I'm not saying what kind of shift is happening, but I just know that there's a lot more people, it seems like, well, it actually is, in the black community voting for Trump and supporting Trump than ever before. And this is from uh, YouTube, a guy named Khalid Atif, Atof, could be saying that wrong, but he um, asked black people in the community who they're voting for this upcoming election, Kamala or Trump. Here's their response. Are you 21? Yeah, I'm 21. You about to vote? Yeah. Who you voting for? Trump. Ah, uh, come on, bro. Harris thugs backwards, bro. What? Harris. Man, we not we not <laughs> voting for that, man. We just voted for Trump, man. Why? And who you voting for, Trump or Kamala? Man, Trump. We ain't that Indian ass, man. Who, Kamala? <laughs> yeah, we ain't. You ride with Trump so much? Because them Venezuelans taking all our bread. They getting paid anything to work, folks. Hey, Trump or Kamala? Trump, to be honest. Damn, so why Trump, though? Why Trump? Because, shit, we used to get paid and shit. Like, he used to keep immigrants out, so, you know, we was able for us to get jobs. It's hard for us to get jobs now, shit, because immigrants taking over and They do do it better than us, though, but they taking our man. What would make you want to vote for Kamala? I ain't gonna lie, we was the last two people on earth. Still wouldn't do that shit. <laughs> Bro, bro, bro. You wouldn't vote for a, a black woman. It's gonna be the first black Ooh. woman in office. Let me tell you something, man. Ain't no man is gonna listen to no woman. Period. Not in y'all country <laughs> or my country <laughs> or another country. There's no man gonna listen to no woman. And my boy, uh, Trump Harris. or Harris? Trump. Yeah. Trump. Oh, Trump. Yeah. Ah, uh, come on, bro. I shouldn't even let you shop here. What you mean? Trump, bro. Man, yeah, on bro, he finna get us all our money, on bro. Yeah? Yeah. Man, come on, bro, you know it's Harris all the way. You said who? Well, Kamala. Man, Kamala, on bro. Yeah? So he finna bring all the out, what you mean? Oh, uh, come on, bro, what you doing? <laughs> boy, Kamala, boy. I ain't gonna lie, I thought you was one of those, bro. What you mean? I thought you was gay. <laughs> what you mean, bro? Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro, Is that, it ain't even got nothing against you, it's just cause of your hair, you know how you got long hair? Well, I'm gonna what? Yeah. What you mean? What you saying? I'm just saying, cause your long hair. I thought you was a female at first, what? but not, but not the way you talking. I see you 100 hey, percent man. You gonna step outside? What? Well, cause I'm finna beat your ass, shorty. Who the fuck you talking to? <laughs> what you mean? Who the fuck you talking to? I ain't gonna lie, I'm on the phone right now. <laughs> yeah, I love this guy. So he's always giving pink lighters to these guys. <laughs> he's the guy who's like, yeah. he's, he gives them pink lighters and they and they get so offended. Like, what is they, they throw it at him? Like, yeah, oh, bro, it's just a light. You asked for a lighter. He's the funniest. Man. <laughs> but I like it because he's getting real responsive for these people. You can tell that these people aren't. This is not. They're not acting. These are like people who are actually from what we know of, right? But it seems like these are genuine responses. But it's not surprising because. You know, people are seeing that they, especially in the inner cities, like like what they're talking about, there's the Venezuelans or the immigrants, the illegals coming in, and they're actually causing problems. So they're recognizing, I think that's what's making them see differently. Yeah, and they're not sophisticated by dumb education. Right. Not so that they don't allow themselves to think like normal people do automatically. You know? Right. Yeah. Because like normal people know, yeah, a, ma a man should lead, and Kamala is fake, and she, she's not, she doesn't care about normal black people. And when it comes to that, that's a good point, and when it comes to that, typically, blacks tend to, um, they're taught more in the home, even if it's in a false way or whatever, they're taught in the home that men should lead. Yeah. And they're also taught that you're not supposed to listen to uh, the woman. So when that guy said that, it's based, right? <laughs> but that's how it's always been. But, you know, obviously they don't, you know, they may not know how to actually <laughs> live that out for the most part. But this is these are beliefs that have been circling the black community for a long time. All mm. those were good reasons, too. Right. All those were uh, yeah. even just any, every single one of those reasons, even by itself. Right. Like even bringing the. F <laughs> it's yeah, a yeah. fine. It's actually a fine reason, and right. you, you, a lot of people would think I'm joking or, or that they're stupid or something. But those are actually good reasons, yeah. fine reasons. Yeah, and people uh, would criticize. A lot of people criticize, like they're criti like Obama. You know, he's getting all. Anyways, I don't know if I'm. Well, ahead. speaking anyway, of that, but um, <laughs> um, um, blacks are natural nationalists, or something. <laughs> I I think I think you're just dealing with. Um, I mean, the last few years. The price of everything from 
apartments, food, everything, cars, has gone up to such a degree that, I mean, it's like everybody's making less money. So if you're anywhere on the margins with anything, you know, it's like, it's like you have, uh, it's like you have a third less money <laughs> yeah. than you used to have. I mean, that's like, like affecting everybody. Well, now this, think of this, just think of that. You know, remember we got all these uh, during the COVID. We got all these. You know, people got four thousand dollars and thousand dollars here. Well, it's like you've you've made up for all that and more. You've paid all that money, but now you've paid it off and buying groceries and stuff because the prices right. of everything went up uh, during that time. And and part of that is actually you know letting those you know the open borders is, has more people coming in and those people are are taking resources and driving the prices up also yeah. so you know I, I think you're just just seeing how uh, the effect of people feeling uh, yeah. the effect of this stuff and you know it has to be based off of reality because blacks are taught to vote democrat they're told to vote democrat so this yeah. has to be their change of mind has to be due to them seeing a different reality, which is the immigrant illegals coming in, the prices going up, and being in the, those poor neighborhoods, you already it's already hard for them to afford things. And now when the prices go up and they really can't buy food, then they start to question, okay, maybe we need. Uh, and that's why a lot of those guys were saying, well, yeah, Trump's going to get the money right. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I think they're just seeing the truth. But any last comments on that before the next clip? Real recognize real. Yeah. I like that Trump is... Were you going to say something? There's no false guilt. There's no uh, yeah. There's no fear of seeming racist or uh, homophobic or anything like that. Right. It's refreshing. Because of that, as we know, this is from YouTube, ABC News on YouTube. Because of this shift that's been happening and, and blacks seemingly are voting more for Trump or coming out and endorsing Trump... Obama felt a certain way about it. Democrats, really, as a whole. But Obama felt a certain way about it. And Obama comes in and scolds black men about not voting for Kamala. This is a clip that's been going around. And I just want to play it. It's, it's a few minutes long, so we'll just have to get through it. Here we go. I'm going to go on ahead and, and just say some, speak some truths, if you don't mind. Because my understanding based on reports I'm getting from campaigns and communities is that um, we have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. I also want to say that that seems to be more pronounced with the brothers. When you have a choice that is this clear, when on the one hand you have somebody who grew up like you, knows you, went to college with you, with you, understands the struggles and pain and joy that comes from those experiences and achieves the second highest office in the land and is putting forward concrete proposals to directly address the things that are vital in our neighborhoods and our communities from housing to making sure that our, our, our mothers and our, our fathers and our grandparents can afford medicine making sure that we are dealing with prices that are too high and rents that are too high and, and are committed to, is committed to making sure that we maintain the Affordable Care Act so everybody's got help here and cares about things like education and entrepreneurship in our neighborhoods. And that's on one side. And on the other side, you have someone who has consistently shown disregard, not just for the communities, but for you as a person. And you're thinking 
about sin now? <laughs> but you know, cousin Pooh might be. Cousin Pooh. And you're coming up with all kinds of reasons and excuses. I've got a problem with that because because part of it makes me think. And I'm speaking to men directly. Part of it makes me think that well. You just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as president. Mm -hmm. And you're coming up with other alternatives and other reasons for that. Mm -hmm. And I think anybody you are talking to in a barbershop, anybody you are talking to in your house, in your family, at a, at a at church, who is coming with that kind of attitude, I think you have to ask them, well, how can that be? Because the women in our lives have been getting our backs this entire time. They've been raising us and working and having our backs. And when we get in trouble and the system's not working for us, they're the ones who are out there marching and protesting and and so now, you're thinking about sitting out, or even supporting somebody who has a history of denigrating you? Because you think that's a, a sign of strength? Because that's what being a man is? Putting women down? That's not acceptable. That's not it. This shouldn't even be a question. I love that he went into the uh, wherever that was to talk to the black guys. I love all of it. Reason being is because it shows how desperate Democrats are. It shows that he's trying everything possible now at this point. He's reaching for the air. He's trying anything he can to get back in there and manipulate the people because obviously the votes aren't coming in the same to go in there and try to convince them. and con It's really manipulation that to remind them, quote-unquote, that are you sure you want to not vote Democrat, uh, guys? Are you sure you don't want to um, vote for Kamala? Remember, your mom who raised you, she did a great job, and Kamala can do just like that. Remember, Kamala is a woman. Your mother's a woman. Your sister's a woman. <laughs> you should vote for her. It's just such a desperate move, and he's, he looks... Like he's reaching for the right words inside to say, and he looks like he's struggling to get them out. He's pandering to the blacks, saying "cousin Pookie" and "what's wrong <laughs> with you," and all these things. Like to me, it just looks like a, a desperate cry for help, and it should be evident to the public that they're they feel like they're losing, so they have to try to pull some kind of stunt. Let's send Barack Obama, the America's. Uh, loved by black, the the most loved by black man on the earth right now. Let's send Obama, and they might send uh, uh, Michelle next to try to see what they can do. But it just feels like a desperate cry for help to me. He it looked like he stopped himself from saying at the barbecue. Right, Instead, he right. said at church at the at church. <laughs> what a mess! Yeah, he's so phony. I just don't believe it. I don't believe none of it. Not. Not one word. They say that he's a good speaker, but he's not a good speaker. No, not there. He's and he's always like that when he he takes these long pauses, and he doesn't really make good points. He just, like you said, he uses those typical stereotypes of how blacks think that they are. Yeah, the community, uh, the system, mothers help us out. They're there for us. Right, and it's so. I think he's good at that. <laughs> What's that? I said I think he's good at that. Good at uh, appealing to the stereotypes, right? Because they fall for that, right? Yeah, it's right. so unnatural. The, phonies, the fellow phonies fall for it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say myself. I mean, Kamala's a 
a horrible candidate. The choice is clear. <laughs> right. She's she's an absolutely horrible candidate. I mean, the Democratic candidates, period, were the, were the worst candidates I've ever seen for president, ever. And... The one where Joe Biden won the primary? Yeah, where, where where Joe Biden won, exactly. <laughs> uh, the, yeah. the, the presidential candidates were like the worst ever. It's like maybe they... I don't know. It's like they couldn't think of anybody better than what they had there. I mean, they were awful. And then she was one of the the most awful. Yeah, true. Yeah. And and why did why did uh, why was she picked as vice president? Because she's a black uh, yeah, a colored woman. She's token. Yeah. yeah. So they're they're they're. There. Grew up with us, right? She's Man. she's Went to school with us. The worst. She's yeah. She's she was elected because she's she's a token black person, the co token colored person. Because yep. she wasn't even talking about being black at all. Classic Joe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was all about the looks, not about the substance. Yeah. You know, all about the looks. Not about the substance. That's this true. person could be could end up as president, you know, but it's not about it's all about the looks. It's not about yeah. the substance. You know, we need somebody. We need the best of us to run things well, you know, and uh, as a president, you know, they could. I mean, look at look at look at what what the president that we have right now, what's going on in our inflation and all this other stuff going on. You know, we're in a bunch of wars. And, you know, we need the best, we need somebody who can run these things, run things well, and uh, negotiate well, and, you know, that has our back. Yeah. And we have somebody here that is obviously lousy at all that stuff. But he's so... <laughs> and, I know, but I'm just talking about Kamala. Talking about She's just, oh, talking, oh, talking I'm about just talking about Kamala. She's lousy at all this stuff. Even as, oh, as women go... She's she lousy. She, I think Hillary seems more intimidating. Exactly. Than her. <laughs> I think I think uh, I think Pocahontas is 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 a better candidate, and she's oh, awful. Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren yeah. is, and and she's horrible. Right. I no, mean, I can think of a whole bunch of yeah. We could think who, of. I, I mean, I she's can't. awful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why would you want? Why would you want uh, you in the black community? Why would you want to pick somebody awful? But that's the thing for this that, job. The, okay, it's it, not gonna. It's not gonna. It's not gonna. Uh, it's not going to rain praise down on you what she's going to do, okay? I, I think it's, it's more not, so It's not our hating, pick. It's not anybody would pick with us. But I think that it's more so hating it's because they is they hate Trump. And then I asked, like I have family members, I have friends, and I asked them, well, why do you um, want Kamala or, or, or what's wrong with Trump? And they always only say it's because he's mean. It's always because around feelings. They're like, it, yeah, they're all about the feelings and it's, I mean, I've I've talked to I've talked to some family members too, you know, who I have. It's like they're they're not real. They're basically not real. I have a theory that um, they don't think that the leader matters. They think the leader is just a figurehead, and it's the team or the side that they're on that matters. So who? it doesn't um, for the liberals who want uh, Kamala in, because no, the same sense. thing with uh, Joe Biden. It's basically the Obama team still. Uh, uh, you you look at the administration; it's a whole bunch of Obama administration people in there, and Joe Biden clearly has pretty sure pretty clearly has handlers. And same thing with Kamala; they're not self leaders yeah. or leaders of of their team. Their team leads them. Uh, so I, I think that they just don't care about that. They don't even believe in that. It doesn't matter. You just pick your side and you. Your team gives you your orders. Your uh, side gives you your orders, I think. No, Whereas think Trump so. comes up with ideas. He listens to them, but he makes his decision. Right. And he has some natural authority to him. Yeah. Where he'll threaten the Taliban or whatever to make what ha needs to happen happen. That's a good point. It always comes down to, um, like when I ask, they always say... Um, well, he's gonna start. A, Trump's gonna start a race war. That's always the, the the number one thing too. Trump is gonna start a race war, or Trump is going to um, he's dividing people, or whatever the case is. But then I asked, well, like, 
But like, what about the stuff that's getting done? Is there things that are getting done? You're like, yeah, but it's not that. It's that he's just mean. Because yeah. they have the wrong idea. They don't realize that they're mean. Exactly. Right. They're yeah. showing yeah. him basically the to the yeah. max. When he was exactly. the only one showing him love. She's right. Like, they're like, oh, Kamala Harris is going to. She cares for you and like op- opportunities for black entrepreneurs. I never heard something more evil. Right. <laughs> opportunities for black entrepreneurs when the guy who wants to give opportunities to everyone is the evil guy. Right. <laughs> He's got the only one showing him love and actual opportunities. As if you're even going to get opportunities as a black entrepreneur with these people leading stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah exactly. I mean, we had no wars going on. We, we, you know, he was dealing with everybody, mm-hmm. including people like uh, Kim Jong. Was it and noon or Kim Jong Un? Kim Jong Un, you know, or um, or the Taliban or whoever, you yeah. know, he had everything in check, uh, and he had everything in check because he he's not he's he's not involved. It's it's about what's real. He's not yeah. about him yeah. himself. Okay, he's not. He's not interjecting, you know, when he's making a, a decision, it's about yeah. what's really happening, he's what's really going to make something he's work. making those tough not decisions. Not about and who, who we're dealing with over there, you know, how bad they are, how good they are, where they stand. But, you know, yeah. the, and the reason that the other folks can't do it is because it's really, they're making decisions about stuff and it's really about where they stand. And not yeah. about where the person over that they're negotiating with stands. Well, when you do, yeah. when you also as a president, you make tough decisions that the public may not agree with, right? And right. you have to be able to make those tough decisions. And Trump has to make those tough decisions. And those yeah. are the decisions that he's making that are, are getting yeah. this backlash from them. Well, he's so mean because he's uh, is going to start a World War Three if he does this or whatever they say, right? But it's, he's making tough decisions that are getting things done, but the public in their ignorance are criticizing him. I, I but think it's Democrats, really the media though. But 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 the Democrats love to do what will be praised in the public because that will get them more votes, that will get them more popularity. Yeah. So they go based off of they're not going to do things that they know that um they might get hung by society of doing. They're going to do things that they know they're going to get the praise for by society. And that's why Trump is the better pick because he's going to make those tough decisions, even if you don't like it. Bill, you, what you're talking about is the politics of the, of the masses, the politics of the public, right? To feel like you're doing something like you're talking about human nature. You're talking about there's a reason why. Yeah, this is I, this is a, a reason a true why anywhere. at some point in America you couldn't <laughs> everybody what. I said, this is the truth. Uh, do I just tell you about is, this is, I was just this saying is happening everywhere, a, basically. There, I was saying there was a reason why, I forgot. Um, oh, yeah, not everybody could vote, something like that. Yeah, yeah, back in the good old days when only the sensible people who had an actual stake and actual knowledge of what's going on, uh, more likely to anyway, they were the ones who had the power to make decisions, such as vote. Yeah. Right. The people who own stuff actually. Right. You had to own stuff to Good vote. Man. Yeah. I think all in all, I think that the that that was a to me, from my perspective, that's how I see it, that Obama doing that was just at a desperate. Just desperate, like how listen, we're losing the vote <laughs> and it's from yeah. the black man mostly. So oh, I'ma go in there. And or, or whoever the the meeting said, oh, let's send Obama. However it worked, <laughs> I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna talk directly to the black men <laughs> and get them to change their mind. And he and it and it looked like he was straining to do it. You know what I mean? It didn't feel natural. It didn't feel like inspirational. Yeah. It just felt like <laughs> begging for the vote again. So I'm laughing because I'm imagining sign. the meeting. It's okay. I, it's okay. I got this. And you know what, what? are we gonna do? It's just a bunch of like old. It's like and then there's Obama just. The only black guy is like, it's okay, guys. I got this. <laughs> I'll go in there. I got this. <laughs> oh, they're they're having their uh, the behind Democrats closed doors meetings. Whatever. Planning. What on. do we do? <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I got this. <laughs> you know what's what else is rich about this is Obama wasn't facing anybody who was against him in there. He was facing yeah. a bunch of blacks who were campaigning for Kamala. That's true. Inside wherever that was. That's true. And that's why they were like... This uh, guy was like, I'm, I'm not sitting so out. Yeah. 
<laughs> so true. He was, he was, it was a, it was a crazy scolding. Like it was like he knew he was at, on camera. Yeah. No, for sure that. Was that cell phone camera or was that professional camera? I'm not sure. That's a good question. It wasn't very mu- well mic'd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, no, it the, wasn't well mic'd. The men at all. he's talking about weren't in that room. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to you directly. So he's trying to tell you, tell them to go scold the people at the barber shop, yeah. at the barbecue. He didn't say barbecue. At the church. Yeah. At the whatever. You guys go basketball do it. court. <laughs> yeah. What a mess. Thinking that women, women were st- are the ones who ran them into the ground, and he's like kissing up to the women. That was so bad Damn. when he got into that. He said, "These are the." I think it's because you guys are afraid to vote for a woman. Him. Yeah, for a woman president. But don't forget, your mothers took care of you. Your cousins took care of you. Like that's just such. It's like begging for yeah. the vote again. It's just shame. Yeah, shame. Shame over, uh, over the most legitimate point against Kamala. She's a woman. Yeah, that's a fine yeah. reason not to vote. That's <laughs> the <laughs> reason. Good yeah, that could be your only reason. That that should be your. That could, someone asked you First wh- and foremost, why are you not voting? You should start with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's a woman. Yep. She's a woman. Yeah. Any last things before we end? When they make AI wives, it's over for women. <laughs> it, oh. Obama, that reminds me of when uh, that frustration. I could think you're right about the desperation point, Joel, because yeah. that reminded me of when he didn't get his little gun control legislation. Uh, and he got all mad and scolded the American people or the <laughs> Congress who voted against it. And he had a little tear in his eye. Really? Because, you're lying. Really? Yeah, no, he had a tear in his eye what? because uh, it was after some shooting, right? No way. Maybe the 2012 uh, Sandy Hook shooting. Uh, he had a tear in his eye because he didn't pass gun control legislation. Yeah, <laughs> the <it's>... children. <laughs> wow. Mm. I never knew. He'd... When I has made anybody the... turn on waterworks like that? When I made the Fallen Messiah T-shirt, I tried to make Would it. it... <laughs> I tried to fu- show like the tear in his eye, but I didn't know to make the tear blue. That's Next time. Awesome. All right, well, my, my last question here. How do we end this? Uh, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe. Hit the button over here. Subscribe over there. Ring the bell. Over. I'm not doing all that editing with all this. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to pop up over there. It's not pop up. Ain't nothing popping up. <laughs> and the people are like, where? <laughs> Just hit the button. Y'all know what to do. Bye. But you didn't say to punch your TV, but I'll put, up, I'll put that up. Punchy TV. I didn't know I was supposed to say that. He's a subscribe to Punchy TV. Oh. But that's fine. But they know they're looking at Punchy TV. That's fine. That's fine. Um, (laughs) We'll put that in. Put that in the edit. That part. That little conversation. (laughs) Yeah, put that in there. So, what was your what was your last question? That was it. How do we end this? That's how we do it every time. Oh.